So here we go, back to square one then, where we are going to recruit a stack more troops now to build up what we just lost. Hmm. We better have some more men at arms. We better have some spears out there. I don't know if I got hit by cavalry. Probably don't need... I do need priests, suddenly. So what have we got? We've built a trebuchet there, which is all very good. And we did we did get one through this. And it's just a, it is the same as the other trebuchets. So this is a way, way, way cheaper way of, of getting them. As well as we get some decent troops as well, so... This is an extremely cheap way of building armies, actually. It seems to me. Right, priesty McPriest face, off you go. There's some sort of uh, fort there. I dread to think what's actually in that. Should we take a stack of longbows over? I think we probably should. I don't think I really need all them longbowmen over there. Having said that, longbows are reasonably cheap to produce compared to lots of other things. How are we doing for wood? What do you got? Oh, they've all run out of the gold. Okay. I'm going to do most to gold. And a couple back onto wood as well. Food is, food is fine. So then, uh, longbows, please. We'll have plenty of those. More of those. So if we have a good supply of siege engines, I think we can probably destroy everything we come across. Is there anything else worth upgrading? Make sure the priests are involved in that as well. And we'll just advance slowly, chopping things up as we go. More gold there. It's good to see there's a good supply of gold. Oh, we could have a... We could do that. Give me one of these priests. This is the first relic I've seen. And we'll drop that off back at the place. And get the gold supply going up. Right. You guys, get over here as well. We'll get everything in, and then we'll just move off. This is the, the point of all RTS games that I dislike. It's that slow, agonising build-up of resources to build up the army to go and mash the thing that you need. And uh, it's, it's always a slow process, and it always drives me mad. Especially as it is the same in every single scenario. That's why I liked the... Um, Dawn of War games and the Company of Heroes games, which are essentially very similar, set in different periods, obviously, different universes. But you're fighting for control of points on the battlefield, and it's those points on the battlefield, which are strategic areas that give you the resources to buy new troops. And it gives you something to do and fight over, rather than just turtling up inside your castle and farming stuff till you go out and mash the enemy castle. So yeah, I quite like that sort of play. Let's move out. In fact, I should be moving with those orders in case we meet anything along the way. No point walking straight into another massive ambush. Control one. We'll send the reinforcements in as well. Did me priest get that thing? He did. Go and drop it off in there. Is there any more kicking about? I mean, I guess they could be anywhere on the map. I'm curious as to what's up here as well. Where there's a road, it is often worth going and having a little explore to see what's up there. No, I'm going to take this longbowman. Go and, go and see. I could use a scout. Longbows. Join the main force. Here we go. You guys, arrow volley. 
see we lost some horses again. Mm, these guys are very keen to go after siege weapons. I really do wish they'd go after the, the other troops first. I think it would be much more useful. So what can we see? We, we know that the enemy force is roughly down there. So let's move everything up. We do have some reinforcements coming. Oh God. Oh God. <laughs> oh God. Don't lose the trebuchets. Do not lose the trebuchets. I don't want to have to rebuild all those. Can I get the horses out of here? See if I can push the horses through to go and get the crossbows. We could do the keep building here, actually. Ally under attack. Really? As far as I'm aware, I don't have any allies in this, but... Right, looks like a bridge. Yeah, building a keep here would be fantastic. You guys going to start shooting at these walls then? Move everything out down there. We'll go south and get that one first. Oh, there's a knight over here. Yeah, the good old classic build a keep by the bridge. Can we actually build keeps? What need is there of me? Nothing at the moment, actually. Give me... Can I actually build a keep? I need a thousand stone, which is not going to happen unless I trade for it here. So, sell that. Buy. Go on, I'll do that. Yes, I will. Okay, sell some more food as well, because we don't need all that food. Excellent. I'm going to build a keep. And that'll stop all those... Oh, we've got no, nothing going on over there. Right, mine that out. Um, and give me... What's our population life? One, two, three, four, five. And give me 20 longbows to go and sit in it. <laughs> Which will be awesome. Scythe down our enemies. <coughs> Right, I do think you lot, because the... Why won't they just shoot at the wall? In fact, let, let's, let's cause them to shoot at the wall by knocking that down. They should be able to see it from there. And if nothing else, that's going to trigger a load of enemies to come hurtling out. Or is it? Maybe it's not. So I run in here and just do some scouting. And retreat. <laughs> retreat. Oh, God. That was unexpected. <laughs> that did quite some nice work there. Right, where's my uh, where's my town hall dudes out out at? Come back up here. Go and build me a massive keep, defending the crossroads or defending that bridge. We'll put them there. Right, looks like. I'm just going to let this uh, this army slowly destroy the buildings as I move down. I don't need to worry about this. Except I kind of do, suddenly, because they're coming in. Well, that's bringing them out anyway. Go, let's, let's destroy that. We don't like the look of that. Oh, 
Come on, you, you lot. Let's, let's just go in there now. It's time to go in there. Get those priests in. Priests can convert enemy units, actually. Although, uh, I haven't tried doing it in this game. I think they can. They put in the earlier ones, I remember. Come on, get these archers killed over here while I still have some foot troops left. Got a sneaky little force out there as well, I see. What have we got over here? Do we get the this this built? No, not yet. Will you please go and destroy some enemy soldiers? Because I'm getting chewed to bits over here. There's still some enemy soldiers killing my commander. Right, just destroy anything you want. It's all yours, folks. Nuke it down. I think sometimes destroying these can uh, reveal gold and stuff underneath them. Oh, God. Garrison, Garrison, Garrison. Where's the Garrison button? It's G. Well, that keeps dead, dead then, isn't it? That's not going to... That's not going to survive that. Unless I can get this work... Uh, this army up here in time. I mean, the keep's going to do some work, but... Move the archers over there. What else have we got? We better get some more of these armies built, actually. It's, uh, it's a lot of it's a lot of troops. Let's get the foot soldiers as much as we can. Did we have a look up there, by the way? We did. You may as well kill that. Can we win this? That is the question. Oh, I thought they'd all died. I thought my trebuchets were all dead. Right, let's go there. Uh, yeah, let's chuck everybody out. Or the two. You can rebuild the keep. And I'll try and upgrade this as best I can. Yeah, join the fight. We'll hold the army there till we get the reinforcements up. Because we are definitely short on uh, foot soldiers, if nothing else. I could probably do this with just archers. I feel like I could, anyway. We'll send the other priest over. We should have a spare priest in here as well, somewhere. Where did, where did he go? After he came, he dropped his stuff off. Idle people. What we short of? Gold. Well, let's nip over here. And we'll just build a mining camp next to this. We have a spare there. Tell you what, you just go straight to that. I think we should be good from this point in once we get the uh, the rest of the troops back online. We should be fine. I'm going to make some here so we can get advancing a bit quicker. Man at arms. We have Hestus coming on. Can we heal that up by the way. A steering sewer head. No, we can't heal one of them. But can we heal? Can we rebuild? Yes, we can. All right. Isn't there's not an auto repair feature for these guys, is there? So we got the priests involved again. That is good. They just 
repairing the trebuchets. They're, they're all a little bit damaged. Nice. Let's get stocked back up for the final big assault. And that one. Right, I'll leave them here. And then we'll just move that force over. So we've got some more foot soldiers. Hmm, I'm a bit disappointed that the trebuchets aren't automatically attacking enemy walls and stuff. Right, okay, you're done. Let's have a wander up here in case there's something extra in the way of resources just while my troops are building up their maximum strength. I can probably take this d detachment of longbows here, actually. Let's go and put them with the main army. And this place can, uh, what's that do? Enclosures. Each farm enclosure being worked on by a villager generates gold. It's 800 gold, I'm not going to bother. Now, but you two can garrison that. Gold coming in there. We're probably about ready to move out. I'll just change this so that it uh, puts new troops down here. Should I put this... If I take this wadge of longbows over? I daren't leave it completely empty in case the story tells of another assault suddenly coming through there, so... Oh, we've got this this lot as well. Yeah, all right. We'd better get these guys in. <laughs> One massive blob. This is how it works. This is where this game is at its best. When you finally do get the huge concentration of force and you can just go storming in. You two may as well be deleted. I've got nothing to do with them. Um, traders, so I might as well free up the capacity for extra troops. Here they come. Well, it's a good job actually that I had these guys here then. Actually, just, let's go on to that one first. Oh, well, at least we stopped an army coming in. So that's a small bonus. Notice how the trebuchets do nothing. Right, let's put them all in group two. So I'll do that again. So everything in group one. Let's move those over, the, over there. And also group two for those so I can get them quickly. There's probably going to be something down here, right? Or up here. As a third stage to this. Yep, here we go. Here we go. Let's let's form up here. And let's use some... Uh... Yes, we've got the range from there. I want to see what this does. <laughs> That's the way to do it. Clearly. Bit of mass trebuchet action. Nice. Yeah, attack that area. Well, I think we've got their attention now. One. Send everyone in. My erstwhile leader has gone running off by himself. Okay. Group one. Get to the crossroads. Try not to get shot by your own trebuchets. Which way do we go? Let's go. Oh, no, we don't. We don't. Two. We are going to hide at the back. Let's kill that. As soon as we see one of those, as soon as we get in range, we have to absolutely leather it with siege weapons. 
it takes so long to build up forces, I don't want to be replacing those too often. Let's do an attack ground order on that. Let's just get the archers on group three. I love that rapid fire attack that they have. That is, that is cool. And down she goes. Maybe I should have a scout in this so I can see a bit further forward. It'd probably makes sense, wouldn't it? I do wonder if I'm inflicting a little bit of friendly fire in there. Two. Uh, one. But two. Attack the towers. I don't want to go waiting in there and lose everything. I do want to try and knock these towers down first. That's why we have siege engines. There we go. Can we not see it? Are we going to guess where it is? As long as I've got no incoming fire. That's fine. I'm going to use a knight here. Dangerous. Okay, dangerous. Definitely. Let's get those killed. Towers down. I think I'm going to throw everything in there now. Try and speed this up. Send everything in. Right. Trebuchets. Let's nuke that down. The army should be going in. We don't worry about the leader. The leader's going to be fine. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, I do like that. That is very satisfying. You lot, in there. Where's my injured leader? I'm going to take one longbowman. I'm going to resurrect the leader to get the uh, little bonus. Speaking of longbows... You, you kind of really need to go for these things, by the way. So, three stakes. Put some stakes down. In case that helps. I don't know if it will at this point. Get a fire going. We'll have some healing. We really need to get rid of these damn towers. Can these things... What is the range on these things? Bloody priests! Priests, get up there. Get healing. Sat there doing nothing. Hey, Major, how's it going? We're trying to finish off this, uh, this scenario. I hate attacking the towers and forts. Much more enjoy the um, open field battles. Right, nice. Go over that fort, and hopefully that is the end of this scenario. I suspect we've got two big black areas of the map. I wonder if there's going to be some more loading. Do we have to trash everything here? I guess it's the military buildings. Defeat the French army. Is that it? And polyester, welcome back. No, it's, uh, I didn't know I'd be streaming today either, but um, it's a bonus day. Hope you had a good Thanksgiving, William by the way. Marshall.
and Nicola de and la Haye the saved the city, and with it, the kingdom. I just wanted to get this uh, this campaign finished, so I can say I've played through the first campaign in this, get an idea of what there is. See the cool little videos it unlocks as well, because they, they're quite cool. And uh, get some sort of video up on it as well. And then we can start Hearts of Iron 4 next week as well. So what have we got? We've got the second battle video. The Norman Legacy. Should we watch this? Or have we already seen this? William Marshall's success in retaking Lincoln was an overwhelming victory for the Royalists. Did I see this one? The rebel barons had been defeated and their French allies driven out of England altogether. No. Lots of driving, caffeine abuse and staying up late. <laughs> that sounds like a good uh, day off, that does. William Marshall now focused on creating a stable kingdom for the young King Henry III. To maintain the backing of the rebels, in 1217, a royal seal of approval was given to a reissued Magna Carta, limiting the power of the monarchy. Many barons held lands in both England and Normandy. But now they faced a choice. On which side of the channel would they make their home? So were they, they were many chose England. They were told they had to choose, did they? The cross-channel kingdom was over, establishing a clear English identity. Which the but English the impact of the Normans on England's evolution is still felt today. The English then spent the next 200 years trying to get those lands Almost back. Almost a thousand years later, the surviving Norman castles and cathedrals still dominate the landscape. London, Tower of London. Never been there, but I recognise the it of the modern city. from the Sherlock Holmes William games. The Conqueror's Fortress. The Tower of London remains a powerful reminder of their legacy. But it's the unseen influence of the Normans that endures. The Norman invasion changed the English language and established the foundations of modern parliament and governance. And it's all because one man, William the Conqueror, claimed the English crown that he believed by rights was his. I wonder what uh, the country would... The Normans conquered a country and changed the course of England forever. I wonder what the country would have developed like and looked like if um, the Normans hadn't come over and conquered. I wonder if it, how long it would have stayed under Saxon rule and culture, or Anglo-Saxon, I should say. Um, would we be speaking a very different language now? Or would English have eventually have developed in some other slightly different form? Would castles have ever been built? I honestly don't know. Uh, let's continue. What's next? Or was that the end of it? William Marshall's success in reaching. Okay, that was the end of it, I think. Overwhelming victory for the Royalists. That was the Norman Conquest, wasn't it? Are we done? You've never been to the Tower of London? No, neither have I. Uh, that looks like that is the end of that. Okay, that was a pretty cool campaign. I quite enjoyed that. I do feel like the gameplay is very repetitive in these sort of games. Harvest the resources, build up a base, get a huge army whilst fending off loads of annoying attacks that come in and go over and swamp the enemy. Um, put together in a campaign, though, I find that pretty cool. But let's jump in and have a look at one of the skirmish games. Solo battle versus AI. 